especially the last two games, being able to, to kind of bog you guys down on offense so much? Uh, you know, I just think, you know, for us the, for, in Saturday's game, you know, we just didn't get as many possessions as we like. And, and again, I think they've done a great job. Their, their, the possession time, I'm sure, if we look at it again, is going to be big time in their favor. Um, you know, long possessions, we don't get as, as many possessions. Um, and then just with us, I felt like we got stubborn at times. The ball would get to certain areas of the field, but we wouldn't cycle it. It wouldn't get through X. You know, we wouldn't get them spinning. We just would make a couple passes, and, and then we kind of settle for some looks. Coach, what went into the decision to go with Justin Shockey at the faceoff today? Um, felt like he finished strong uh, last week, and uh, you know I thought Austin started that game um, and did a good job, and then you know they went with 39, 39 did a good job, and I thought Shock came in and countered him pretty well. I think he finished like eight of 14, um, and I thought Shock was great. You know I, I really felt in the first half we got good goalie play, we got good faceoff play. Um, you know, we needed to turn that into, you know, we should have been up more than 6-2. Uh, you know, you knew they were going to make a little bit of a run. Uh, we just didn't do enough in that third quarter to kind of stave that off. And then you touched on it a little bit. How big was Danny Dolan for you in that first half? I think it was great, you know, and you know, especially after Saturday, I know he's real disappointed. And we went back to work, as, as Danny always does. Um, he took a lot of that personally. and. He's so prideful. He put so much into it. And I certainly felt like he wasn't the reason why we lost on Saturday. Um, but he always aspires to play better. Um, and I thought he played great all night. He can only do so much. A second straight game. Hopkins goes on big run. You guys, like you said, can't stave it off. Yep. Well, what do you tell your guys in the timeouts to, to try to offset some of the they, they had gained? Yeah, just take a deep breath. You know, it was going to be a game of runs. You know, you knew it was going to come down to the wire. Um, you know, don't play what happened. Make the next play. Get the next ground ball. Get the possession. Uh, that's the beauty of our game is you can turn the momentum so quickly. And all it takes is a ground ball and a face off. You get a possession. You get a goal. And all of a sudden you get another possession. Um, so I thought all in all, even with some of the things that, that happened, I thought Bubba's, you know, hit down there wasn't – I thought it was – you know, it was definitely a physical play. He might have been a little bit high. I didn't feel like it was an unreleasable one. Um, but certainly they have a different vantage point than I do. I thought it was a, a pretty physical play, but certainly within, you know, within reason. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly. And I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs, the Jack Lynch Law Group. Coach, uh, eight years of really true success here so far in your career. These two games have like really put like a, a blur on it a little bit. Can you get the guys to bounce back should you be fortunate enough to make the tournament? Um, you got to be, you know, you only get so much time, um, you know, especially if you're a senior, um, you know, this team only has as much time as we get, you know, so if we get an opportunity on Sunday night, like we get a guarantee of a week and that's all this team is ever going to get together. So my feeling is, you know, you, you got to look at it that way. You know, this team has, you know, a, a lifespan and if we don't do a good job, um, you know, next week it's, it's over. So that sense of urgency, you know, that sense of appreciation, realizing we all got to do everything we can to keep this thing going, uh, that's got to be critical. Um, so, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, there's a lot of things that could happen in all these conference tournaments. So uh, we're just going to have to see how things lie on Sunday and uh, hopefully heal up a little bit. We got some guys that are dinged up and, and, and just kind of stay over tonight, get back, and, um, you know, maybe a couple days extra rest might not be the worst thing for this team. Do you know if it was Logan? I had 100%. It seems like the past couple of days, maybe a step slower if we can take a potential injury against South Ohio State, or am I just seeing things? Um, I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. All right, thanks, guys. All right,